Hi everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Our internet is still out. They're having some kind of technical issue or they're working on the problem or whatever. They don't really say what's wrong, but they just say they're working on it. So, this will be late too. There's a squirrel. It's been raining. You can see it's looking like it might some more it's warmer this morning it's 57 out here it feels cold in the house though I don't know why well, that cabbage is starting to get a little bit bigger it looks pretty good I don't know what to think about the cauliflower I've never grown it either one really so I don't know what it's supposed to look like once it gets ready but cabbage looks pretty good. They like this rain. Everybody does. I got out here yesterday and pushed some more dirt up against the different turnips and stuff. Piled, like, I don't know if you can tell right there, piled the dirt up against them so they'll grow bigger. I'm pretty pleased with my first time trying some winter vegetables. Things worked out pretty good so far. <clears throat> Boy, it's so aggravating when the internet's out. I can't do anything. I have a bunch of stuff I do before I do even prayer requests. I get caught up on my comments. I look for spam. What's in the spam folder? You know, I do a lot of things I check my emails I check my messages my messenger I check my text messages I do all kinds of stuff I've not been able to do this morning I haven't heard the train this morning I do hear a few birds though relax a while and listen to the birds then. I'm going to go see if that internet's come on yet, but I doubt it.
do the train this morning. So I guess I'll go inside and do story time, everyone. Hi, everybody. I'm back in. And didn't hear the train out there, unless y'all heard it while I was inside, but I just hadn't heard it regularly like it was. And the internet is still off. That just really messes me up bad. I just can't can't do anything. So I hope they get it fixed soon. I think what happened, there's something on the screen. I think what happened was last time this happened, somebody had uh, gone to one of their like substations and uh, stole a bunch of copper, I believe is what happened. And then they had to turn around and you know, redo it all. And it took them quite a while. If I remember last time this happened, it messed me up really bad. But that's just one of those things, you know, and it's it's a shame if that's what happened again, that people will go to that length, you know, to, they know it's going to mess everybody up and they steal something like that. But, oh boy, let's see. We didn't end up having the chicken last night. Um, we ate that sub so late it was like going on five o'clock when we ate lunch. And once we ate that, we were like, oh, why make a big meal now? We're not very hungry now, you know? So Logan and I just had a, a hot pocket last night and some chips is all we had. And it wasn't no use to fix it. It wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't have eaten that much of it. So we're going to fix it tonight. So, um, our, let me think. Don't have anything else to go over. I don't have any pictures right now. I didn't look for any yet. I'm trying to find some. Um, on story time, I've got a couple little things. I got to think of some more things uh, for stories. I've run out of ideas here. I think I've pretty well gone through all these that I wrote down. But uh, I got my first regular job part-time job when I was like 13 and it was at a place it was in um it was in Monroeville I believe yeah and it was a place called Eaton Park it was kind of like a Shoney's if y'all have ever seen a Shoney's or have one it's kind of like that I think it actually used to be one and then they this guy bought it and turned it into a Eat and Park Eat and then the uh, in and then park. Um, my sister worked there and she helped me get a job there. And so I was just a bus boy and a dishwasher. And, uh, you know, I didn't, I, I, I was a good worker, you know, I would do anything you told me to, but uh, some of the things I didn't know what I was doing very good. Like they had me, uh, when I was washing dishes, they had me put some, uh, or was it, it wasn't washing dishes. I was cleaning an oven or something like that. And they had me put some, you know, oven cleaner on it. Well, I didn't even put any gloves on. I'd never used oven cleaner before. I thought it was like fantastic or 409 or something, you know, you could spray it on there and just wipe it off. You know, I didn't know you had to wear gloves. So I went ahead and cleaned it and I got that stuff on my hands and then I, my hands started burning, you know, and I was like, what, what is it? What's wrong? And he said, uh, the manager said, didn't you put any gloves on? I said, no, nobody told me I needed any gloves. He said, that stuff's like acid or something. And so I didn't, they, they washed them, you know, I washed them off really good, really good two or three times and it kept burning for a while and then, but it didn't really do any damage, you know. It burned and left, it turned my hand, like the my hand red, just got red-like and stuff. And I learned a lesson then. From then on, when I did anything like that, I used gloves. But, you know, they had the big washers where you put stuff in trays, and then you just push the tray in there, you know, and pull it down and wash stuff. That I learned how to do that pretty quick. And, of course, I bust tables and, you uh, being 13 years old, I was in heaven because I had all these uh, waitresses, you know, most of them probably 18 or more, you know, and uh, 
my hormones are going crazy, you know, and I just, I just love being around all these, all these waitresses and working. I got in trouble a few times. I think I, I pinched one's bottom or something. <laughs> I would never do anything like that, you know, after I grew up, but I was, you know, like I said, 13 or 14, you know, I thought it was kind of funny. I wasn't really doing it for, you know, any reason. I just turned to gooser <laughs> and I got in trouble for that. I didn't get fired or anything. I had to apologize. <laughs> it was, you know, innocent. I, you know, I wasn't doing anything. But uh, that was a good experience for me, learning how to, you know, have a job, a regular job. I did stuff, you know, when I was young, from about eight years old up. I was trying to sell things, you know, sell my toys to get other toys, and, uh, you know, just uh, anything. Anything with Cub Scouts or anything like that, I tried to try to do. So that was my first job, Eaton Park. Now I just that's not a very long one, but I've got another one here. I don't know if that's going to be enough, or I might wait and do this one tomorrow. This other one. This one's not very, that one wasn't very long. And tomorrow's, it'll be, that'll give me one for tomorrow at least. This will be Wednesday. And since, while the internet's out, I don't have nothing better to do. I'll sit down and try to think of some more stories. And I think I'm going to, I, I don't know if I might try to color some first on my own and get used to it before I uh, try to film it. But if I can... If, uh, as soon as I figure it out, everything, I'll get all the colors and everything. I'll get everything ready and I'll, I'll start doing one and see how much y'all, you know, if y'all like watching it, uh, me color some pictures on those beautiful, beautiful books. Now we got to figure out, oh, they're in there. I got to figure out which picture I want to try first. I've got, she's got, get, sent me that one that's, uh mainly flowers and stuff and then i got one of the indian you know uh different indian things and one is uh i think it had birds a lot of birds and stuff in it what do y'all think what would y'all like me to to do first would you like me to do birds flowers or indian art Let me know in your comments what you want, what you would like to see me uh, color first. Birds, flowers, or Indian art. And that way I'll know what y'all would like to, to see. And that'll be something different, you know. Uh, I've seen a lot of people, there's some really good artists out there uh, that, that do a great job. Angel's one of them. Uh, I was trying to think of another one. Uh, Mark Robb, he does paintings, and he's been doing coloring lately, too, I noticed. Um, there's several that I've watched that do stuff like that, and they're very, it's it's interesting to watch, and they're very talented, you know. Um, I can't think of what I was going to, but yeah. Birds, flowers, or Indian art. Y'all let me know what you think. And maybe I can do something uh, on down the road. Maybe I could do a little uh, giveaway of one of my uh, drawings or, you know, one of, the, one of the pictures I color. Write it down. Maybe we could do something like that because it wouldn't take much to to send it. I wouldn't want to fold it. You know, I'd probably put it in one of those little, like a manila envelope. I don't think it would take very many stamps. I got plenty of stamps now. So we might do that. What do y'all think about that? Uh, when I get one done, or, you know, after I do several maybe, maybe we could do a giveaway of some kind if y'all would be interested in that and 
Oh gosh, it's so you you y'all don't realize. I mean, I'm sure you do if it's happened to you. But when the internet goes out, I am just and our TV's out too. See, I mean, it's not just the internet. It's oh, we got Spectrum, and you know, of course, they advertise that you're not going to have any pixelation. You're not going to have this and that. Well, what about outages? I'm, I'm sure they don't think anything's going to happen, but it could any time. And this is the second, or at least the second time, I'm, I'm thinking maybe the third time that this has happened. And it is so aggravating. Because, you know, you can't even watch TV. And you can't, you can't do anything on your phone or your tablet. It's, it's just, I'm out of standstill. I hope they get it squared away soon. The last time it was like lunchtime, you know, before they got it fixed. I hope it doesn't take that long. Oh, well, I'm going to do this one tomorrow. And I was trying to think if there was anything else. I'm going to have the chicken tonight. I still got this here. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this. Well, the arm on it more. What happened to this one? Hmm. Oh, there it goes. You have to push it a little bit harder for the second one. Beep, beep. Well, it was working. There it goes. It's up here. You gotta press up there at the top of it. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That one doesn't want to work real good, but it's, it comes on. I think it needs another battery, maybe. I mean, this other battery. They, they give you another battery right here. Whoops. I gotta figure out what I want to do with this. Maybe I could do that today. Oh, it's got. A, oh, it's a sticker. I see. I have to figure out what to do. What I want to do with that. That's cool. Put back in there. Well, everyone, I think that's about all I got this morning for morning coffee break. Sorry it's going to be late. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that. So that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. When they finally come out. God bless everybody and have a great day. Bye bye.